just say, oh, yeah, it's a pendulum that's been around for ages. But they're completely different. Well, your father designed the first yeah, kind the of original design, one. is that correct? Yeah. yeah designed by, by Dad. Yeah, yeah. And then after a while, we, we redesigned it and improved it and... Yeah, and that's what that's what you guys are getting now. And there's no there's less maintenance on it because there are no clean outdoors or or anything on on there like that. Yeah, it's all self-contained. It's 100% watertight, um, and there are no there are no touching parts inside the actual packer itself. So. So does that mean with the uh, reduced maintenance that the cost of ownership would be lower as well for the operator? Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, we have, we, we've got a truck here now, it's 10 years old and, and we haven't touched it in 10 years. It, on the packer that's side, incredible. yeah, there. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And, mm. and it, it picked up, it was doing co-mingled recycling. So it's got a lot of glass in it, um, you know, steel and everything else. And they've lasted really well. I've yeah. heard that it's had a lot of success overseas because, of course, STG has exclusive rights in Australia. We've heard that it's been successful in North America and Scandinavia. Could you please tell me a little bit more yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, NTM. Yeah, the, well, robust wise, we use the thicker material, I suppose, to, to most of the trucks that are on the market now. NTM, we met them at the mm. Munich. Munich Waste Expo, and okay. they had got yeah got to know the guys there pretty well, and and NTM actually bought the license rights for Europe. Mm -mm. Yeah, and they had those for a while. I, I can't remember how many years, but but then they ended up buying the the patent off off Dad mm -mm. Jump for Europe, and yeah, anyway, and fr from there. We went to. We ended up going to Canada, and a company called Whitkey there bought bought the license rights for North America. We use heavy gauge steel, um, yeah, and it's simpler. There's no, there's no, because there's no moving, touching parts inside the hopper. There's a lot. There's a mm. less wear as well. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just well, it's just easier. It's just simpler. That, that's. Mm. That's the best way to describe it. It's simple. Mm. Uh, there's no hydraulics. There's no hoses. There's no pins. There's, there's nothing in, internally in the hopper. Easy, simple system, and it it, it lasts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The longevity of the, the the packer. Like you don't, you won't have to touch it. Yeah. It's it's built that strong and and the wearability of the material because it's all hard ox 450 uh, they just don't yeah they don't wear out <laughs>